Hey guys, Koizumi here with episode 2 of the Prosumer Report, the show where we give you the breakdowns of the best of the best in consumer goods. Today we're going to be looking at the leak by Kershaw. The leak is an everyday carry knife of the gentleman's variety, meaning it is meant to combine function and fashion. It's safe to say it does a good job at it, designed by Ken Onion for Kershaw in 2002. The design was an immediate hit and has been one of Kershaw's best-selling folders ever since. And it's obvious why. The leak is quite the looker, and as with most of Ken Onion's early work, the design is beautiful flowing contours and is very reminiscent of the natural world. It combines elegance and simplicity. Of course, none of that would matter if the knife wasn't functional but it is. Behind those seductive flowing curves is a knife that's actually quite capable of getting some real work done. The handle, machined from two pieces of 410 stainless steel, is held together with four stainless steel Torx screws, and it manages to balance rigidity and simplicity into a rather harmonious design. And while the 410 scales may not provide the same grippiness as G10 or Valox, the shape of the stainless steel here does a good job locking the hand in place safely for the majority of day-to-day -day cutting tasks, all the while looking quite suave. Lockup on the knife is good too, handled by, well, the handle. The leak uses a lockup mechanism known as a frame lock, whereby a portion of the frame is machined in such a way that upon the blade's deployment a portion of the handle slides under the flat ground portion of the knife's axis to stop the blade from closing. Though at a glance you would never know it, as Monsieur Onions saw fit to discreetly hide the mechanism underneath the leak's pocket clip, keeping the knife's simple and elegant aesthetic intact. Speaking of the pocket clip, it's one of the best we've ever used. It is very strong, and due to its bead-blasted finish, it is sure to keep its attractive look for a long time to come. Plus, it is repositionable to either the top or the bottom of the left side scale. Though if you choose the bottom, the liner lock will be revealed. Not a big problem, especially if you're the type who prefers the knife to be nestled tip up in the pocket, though gentlemen tend to want their liner locks kept secret. Of course, we can't talk about the leak without also taking a moment to appreciate how you deploy the blade. Mounted on the blade is a thumb stud that can be used both left and right-handed, as well as a back flip Give either of them a firm push and thanks to Kershaw's patented speed safe technology, the blade just flies open. Of course, while this action sure looks like a switchblade, it most definitely is not. The opening is instigated through the force employed by the user, not by the release of a spring through the pressing of a button like on these babies. Perhaps this sounds overly technical, but this distinction allows the leak to be carried in the majority of American states and Canadian provinces, where automatic opening knives are banned. This is because SpeedSafe is technically a torsion bar, a vertically machined circular spring that stores energy as you close the blade and aids, emphasis on aids in opening the blade, but only after it has already been partially deployed, which means that only the user's force carries the blade to opening, a legal loophole which allows SpeedSafe knives such as the leak to have a fantastic one-handed opening. Now let's talk about the blade. On the model we reviewed, the blade is a drop point hybrid blade made of D2 and 14C28N. Now D2 is a tool steel, typically found in chisels and bench saws and revered for its ability to take a fantastic edge and keep it for a good long time. Unfortunately, D2 does not qualify as a stainless steel, as it lacks the necessary amount of chromium to be truly rust resistant. It comes close, and its implementation on this knife is actually rather clever. Kershaw has laminated the D2 to a truly stainless steel, 14C28N, in an attempt to minimize the amount of corrosive blade material exposed. Of course, 14C28N is actually the stock metal most typically found on the leak, and while its edge retention pales in comparison to D2, it is actually incredibly resilient. Known for its ability to take substantial impact without shattering, and its ability to resist corrosion without breaking a sweat. And, combined with D2, enables this leak to have an incredible cutting performance, resilience to snapping, cracking, and for the most part remain rust free, though this upgrade doesn't come cheap. The traditional leak with 14C28N can be found online for as low as 35 bucks, whereas the D2 variant typically sells for $60 and up. So is the price worth it for the upgraded cutting edge? Well, we say yes. 14C28N is a great steal, possibly one of the best available for a knife under 40 bucks. However, the leak is such a fantastically designed knife that compromising and buying it with an inferior blade steel just seems like a waste. Besides, what kind of gentleman carries a knife with anything but the best of edges, right? Though regardless of what blade steel you choose, Kershaw guarantees to its customers full satisfaction of their money back. That combined with their fantastic warranty service which guarantees that the knife will perform free of defects for your entire life. Yes, until you die. Plus, should you mistreat your blade, say snap it off or leave it in a bucket of acid, Kershaw has the good grace of replacing the blade for you, for just 10 bucks. Sure, it's plus shipping and handling, but that kind of service is just unprecedented and is a really huge plus for anyone who buys a Kershaw knife. 
Other companies can replace blades too, but Spyderco wants double that amount plus charges for installation. And Benchmade wants 20 bucks to just look at the knife, and will then charge you for the replacement part and shipping back to you. So what does this knife have that others don't? Well, for the most part, it's peerless. At $35, no other knife even comes close to its quality at the same cost. If you're looking for a knife to use, abuse, and lose while looking like a sophisticated gent, then look no further. Of course, at the $60 plus range with the D2 steel, things get a bit more interesting as you could just as easily buy a Delica 4 from Spyderco. However, the Delica 4 is not a suave gentleman's knife, nor does it have much diversity in its deployment. Either you like the spider hole or you don't. Finally, the backlock on it has substantial learning curve and leaves a lot to be desired, especially when compared to the elegant frame lock on the leak. However, the VG10 on the Delica is superior to the D2 steel, and in fact, achieves similar rust resistance and rigidity as 14C28N, without having to mess about laminating steels. Of course, the Delica is not much to look at, it's a workhorse, and while its handle comes in a few different colors, the leak is the real king of style if you want a different look, coming in Damascus variants, black stone wash, a near endless amount of handle colors, carbon fiber, bronze, and even being offered with stained aluminum scales, the leak is the king of customized Plus, it comes stock with SpeedSafe, which is a fantastic bonus. So where does that leave us? Well, simply put, the leak is a great knife. Whether you're looking for a knife to beat up and not care about, all the while looking good, the leak has your back at 35 bucks. And, if you want a blade that you can depend on for getting some real work done, and that can be relied upon in time and time again to perform par excellence, then the D2 leak has your back at just 60 bucks. And if you want a weird, rainbow, completely crazy mess, well, there's a leak for that too. In fact, there's probably a leak for everybody, and that's just an example of how truly great a knife it is. The leak manages to balance sophisticated design and performance, a task that is attempted by many but only succeeded by few, and add in Kershaw's fantastic warranty and services policy and the fantastic speed safe mechanism and things only get better. So thank you Kershaw for manufacturing and distributing this knife, and thank you Ken Onion, you suave slice of sophistication. The leak is truly a gentleman's knife, whatever kind of gentleman you might be. 8.9 out of 10, we strongly recommend this knife. This has been the Prosumer Report with Koizumi. I'll see you next time.